Hey guys, Turtle here, and today I will be officially releasing version 3 of my custom models pack. So, to get started, I will no longer be supporting the links in the update file. Instead, I will send everybody the update through email. So, make sure to check the email you bought the pack with, and you should get the update. So, to get started, in the food folder, we have the cooked eggs. So, if I just zoom in here, we have the colors. You can turn smooth edges on or off, and you could change the bend as you can see, as well as the angle. Um, the next new model we have is the donut. You can change the colors and turn the sprinkles on or off, so that's pretty self-explanatory. And the last new model in the food folder is the popcorn. So you can change all three colors of the popcorn and the stripes, and you can fill it up by turning the popcorn switch on. And this is all dynamic, so you can move it around and it just starts filling up, and it looks really awesome. So that is pretty much everything for the food folder. Moving on to the indoors folder, we have a grandfather clock. And this one looks pretty cool. This is probably one of my favorite models. Uh, but we have the glass here. So, and um, in the user data, you can change the pendulum color, the clock hands color, and the seconds hand color. So if you just wanted two different colors there. And you could also change the texture, so we have spruce, jungle, birch, and custom texture. Now what you can do with this is open this up, and then pick anything you want. So, I only support the four original woods, but you can add in the newer woods by just picking the custom texture. So that looks pretty cool. And the next thing we have down here is the hand rotations. So these all move in intervals of six degrees. So every 30 or 24 seconds, whatever your frame rate is, you would click this once. So that is one second. And that will work all the way to 360. So basically each one is a second. And you can also change these hands. They work the same way. and as well as the hour hand. So if you turn the swing on or off, you'll see the pendulum actually starts to swing. And you could change the speed of it down here. So this would be faster and this is slower. So I think 50% is probably pretty good, but it's all up to you. So moving on, the next machine we have is the popcorn machine. You could change the colors add in a custom texture so if you wanted orange you can do that and you can change the popcorn start and end as you can see we have some popcorn here if I just uh, bring this up as well as this you'll see we get some popcorn starting to pop here so that is a pretty cool model had a lot of fun making that and um, moving to the home folder we have a big mouth Philly bass fish for the first model. A lot of you probably remember this. Um, but yeah, so we have the animation and the sound, and you can also change these three colors here. But if we just hit play, we just have to turn this off. But as you can see, it pretty much mouths the words and does what the real fish would do. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the next one we have is the cabinet. Again, you can change the texture here. And change it to custom if you want. And you can put any texture you want. And the next model we have is the couch. Uh, you can change the main walls and inner walls here. Have to get to textures real quick, and you can change the wool. So gray and white looked pretty good when I was testing this out, but you get the idea. So that looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so you could pretty much do that with any texture, and you can also turn the couches or the cushions from smooth to rigid here, as you can see. And you know, each one looks pretty good. I'm probably going to stick with that for animations and 
renders, but, you know, again, uh, it's all up to you. Uh, so the next thing we have is the custom bed. I completely remade it. It is no longer, doesn't look anything like the old bed, but, um, it still has the same functionality. I changed the blanket subdivisions, and it's actually really laggy right now. But I'm sure you guys remember that with the controllers and everything. It all still works. You got the wood type here. Um, you have the puffy and flat blanket, as you can see. As well as a pillow here. You turn this on or off. As well as change the um, in slash out thing. I guess the puffiness of it. So if you have a head pressed down on you can move this down. But yeah, that is the new bed. Um, and the next thing we have is a frying pan. So this one is really self-explanatory. You can just change the color here. That's really all you can do with it. Just have people hold it and whatnot. Uh, next item is the lamp. Um, I will have to fix that texture, but can pick anything you want and you have the metal color here and then you have the light switch dynamics so as you can see here we have some dynamics for this light switch it's really awesome it interacts with the pole as well it's all rigid body dynamics so and if we just go back into the user data we also have the light on or off so you can turn the light on and you have the light brightness here. So I'm just doing a quick render. We got some nice metal reflections and visible light. And adding a light on the outside will make this visible. So pretty cool. Um, the next new model we have is the laptop. You got the two colors here. Laptop color and keys color. You'll see when I open it up. Um, so if I just open it up now... Here, um, you'll see we have the keys and the laptop itself, so that is for the two colors. I'll just make that a little more visible for you guys. But yeah, so you can do any color you want. And for the screen here, you can pick any texture you want, like anything. You could have videos. have videos playing as well which I will show you real quick um, so if I just import this animation I made uh, you have some video options down here so you have movie start frame movie end frame and movie frame rate this could be important depending on what your frame rate is typical frame rate is 30 if it's just standard video unless you're if you have an animation playing you might have set it to something different um, but you have the screen brightness that has some glow on it. If we just enable object glow, you will see that the screen gets some glow, and turning this up will make the glow more intense. So, the screen will be playing the animation. As you can see, it's kind of flickering right now. Do not know where the video went. But as you can see, it will be playing when you render it out. So no need to worry about that. Um, moving, moving on, we have the logo on the back. So you can turn that on or off. You can import your own. And alpha channel. If it has an alpha channel or not, you're going to want to play with this. Um, Moving over here, we have a right click and left click, so this just slightly moves it down. As you can see, and each key has protection tags, so you could move them down as well. So that's pretty much it for the laptop model. Um, back to the TV, um, you can change the screen here. So same as the laptop, you can add videos. 
and pictures. And if we just turn it on here, you will get our TV screen. And that was the wrong file. So as you can see there, it is working fine, and it's animated over here. So when you render that out, it will be animated. And you got the same options as the laptop. So that is pretty much it, I think. There was nothing added to the outdoors pack. Um, so yeah, I guess thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed, make sure to like the video, and if you really enjoyed it, I guess you can go buy it. Links are all in the description, and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.